Hey everybody, Cranky Gun Reviews here. Short little Thursday night video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of something I just picked up. Yes, it's a riot shotgun. And if you look here, this is a high standard riot shotgun. So I was perusing my local Cabela's the other day and happened upon this. They had gotten in a bunch of police trade-ins. Believe it or not, this is from Puerto Rico. Um, and it's in really rough shape. I mean, you look at the stock down here, it's really beat up. Uh, corn cob grip is really beat up from being, you know, slammed around and stuff. Cool thing about these, metal trigger guard. The action works almost exactly like a Mossberg 500. Slide releases back here behind the trigger guard, but it does have a cross bolt safety here. Um, based on these letters on the barrel, ES, it was manufactured in 1974 in October, um, and it's in really bad shape. Like the bluing, you can kind of see on the receiver, the bluing is terrible. The bolt is filthy. Um, it's missing the butt plate, which I ordered one from a J.C. Higgins, which I believe a Model 20 should be about the same as this. I believe this is called an 18-7, which was their Riot which had an 18 and a half inch barrel and a seven round capacity. So six in the tube and one in the chamber. Um, but if you guys have seen my channel at all, you know my love for police and military shotguns, especially the old wood furniture ones. So this is one I picked up. It was 229 bucks. I couldn't pass it up. Um, and again, I kind of like the beat up look. This one has birch furniture instead of uh, the walnut that the older ones would have had. For those of you that know your car movie history, this is also the same style shotgun that Steve McQueen used in the movie The Getaway. Um, his was actually an older model. His had the, uh, the better wood furniture on it. His also had a different sight, which brings me to another problem with this one. The front sight post is missing, so I have to order that. Um, but again, overall, it's ugly. It's dirty. I pulled out the... Uh, the trigger assembly a little while ago and there's actually sand in the action so this is going to come apart and get a very thorough cleaning i might try to re-blue some of the receiver i might just oil it up real good and keep all the patina that it has because it kind of does have that old school look and again it's cool that it came from a puerto rico police department they had a bunch of uh, winchester police magnums there as well I almost bought one of those because they had the cool uh, stocks that had the extra rounds that you could store in the stocks, but those actually look like they were in much worse condition as far as the stocks go than this one, plus this one being the wood furniture. I happen to like it a lot more. Uh, the, the other ones, all the stocks were busted up as well, although some of them look like they may have never been fired, just like the stocks were busted from bashing people in the head or something. I don't know, but just a quick overview. It's a high standard riot shotgun 18-7. They probably would have called it a K120 or a K1200. This one does not have the model number on it. It does just say high standard on the side. Again, over here. Whoops, it's upside down in the frame. So it does just say high standard Hamden, Connecticut, USA. Uh, and nothing else on the barrel. So again, 1974 model from what I could find online. I'm very happy with it. It's a cool gun. It was a good price. Thanks for watching. I'll have some shooting videos hopefully out of this very soon, possibly alongside of my Mossbergs, so I can show the similar function. Have a great night.